Hi, I'm Sid Marty. Welcome to my studio. I hope you have a wonderful day. And today I want to talk about tape decks and the correct bias setting. Um, usually higher end tape decks have a bias control, which is a fine tuning knob, or some sort of tape type selector for type 1, type 2 or type 4 um, tapes. And for example, type 1 tapes require less bias and type 2 tapes um, require a little bit more bias. Um, bias itself is just a very, very high frequency that get mixed together with your source signal and it excites the magnetic particles of the tape. And for example, when you increase the bias um, from the minimum, the bus and travel rise together but the treble is always slightly ahead of the bass and as you continue to increase the bias um, the bass continues to rise and at a certain point the treble just falls off or is, is a very at a minimum level and um, that situation is then called the over bias and the opposite would be um, under bias and a general rule you could say that if the recording sounds brighter than the original you have to turn um, the bias control clockwise so on the positive side which is over bias and if the recording sounds um, dull you have to turn the bias knob counterclockwise which is negative and under bias and how you do that on a tape deck i'm going to show you in a minute All right, so here's my tape deck. It's a Nakamishi cassette deck 2. And here you can see the tape selector knobs for type 1, type 2 and type 4 tapes. And I usually mostly use type 2 because I think they sound the best, which are chrome tapes. Um, here is the bias control. So you have settings from, from 0 to plus 5 and from 0 to negative 5 and now what I want to do is I'm gonna record some pink noise with the different settings for 0 for plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so forth and also for minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 to minus 5 and then I'm gonna line them up in the DAW and I'm gonna check out which um, bias setting sounds the best All right, so back in the door, as you can see, I recorded some pink noise, um, which is the green ones, and the pink ones are the bias settings for 0, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, and so forth, and also on the negative side, from negative 1 to negative 5. And so just have a listen at the original pink noise, how it sounds. Okay, so let's take a listen to um, the zero one. Oh, it doesn't sound right, does it? And plus one. Oh, better, but a little bit muffled. So let's have a listen to plus two. Okay, even more dull. And listen to plus four. Okay, way duller than the other ones. So. I think we might go to the negative side of the bias knob and have listened to negative one. Oh, that sounds quite good. Uh, have listened again here. Yeah, way better. So, negative two. A little brighter than the negative one. Let's have a listen to three. Oh, 
Okay, it get, gets way too high, so if it isn't negative 5. Okay, I think we might go with negative one. Or negative two if you want a, a little brighter um, frequency range. Yeah, so we, we could probably use negative one or negative two. And now I'm going to record some drums and we'll have a listen how that sounds like. Okay, we're back with the drums and it's just a normal beat. And again in front um, the original source and um, this um, recorded drum kit on the tape with the setting of negative one. So let's have a listen. Yeah, sounds very good. Again. Even a little more punchy. So the, the tape does indeed sound very good. Nice. Okay, folks. Um, that was how to correctly bias your tape deck. Um, I hope you can learn something from it and stay tuned till next time.